The National Naval Aviation Museum tells the story of our past and provides a pathway to our future by bringing the accomplishments of naval aviation to life. Coast Guard aviators, all Navy trained and recipients of Wings of Gold, work hard to keep our shores safe and are always at the ready to rescue those lost at sea. The museum is more than a walk through history. It's an experience that draws visitors into a world they can only dream about. The museum's Coast Guard Aviation exhibit opened to the public in 2015. The exhibit covers approximately 10,000 square feet of space in the museum's Hangar Bay 1 and includes 100 years of Coast Guard history in the form of artifacts, models, uniforms, medals, and ribbons. This year we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the flight of the NC-4, the first aircraft to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. This huge flying boat had a wingspan of 126 feet and had a crew of six. On May 27, 1919, the NC-4 completed the first transatlantic flight. The pilot was the only U.S. Coast Guardsman aboard, Lieutenant Elmer Stone. The museum's exhibit, built to look like the interior of a wooden hangar from the era in which the NC-4 operated, tells the story of its construction, transatlantic flight, recruiting tour of the southeastern United States, and eventual restoration by the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. The Coast Guard began acquiring dolphins soon after the prototype model named Sinbad was introduced in 1930. It had an all-metal hull with room for eight passengers and two flight crewmen. Acquired by the Navy and Coast Guard as a transport and search and rescue aircraft, RD Dolphin served through the 1930s and for a limited time during World War II. The last RD-4 was retired in 1942. The museum's aircraft was originally purchased in 1934 by William E. Boeing, the founder of the Boeing Airplane Company. The Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation's first monoplane design, the Goose, also represented the company's first foray into building twin-engine aircraft. Initially flown as a small passenger plane by corporations and airlines during the late 1930s, the amphibian eventually logged wartime flights with all branches of the U.S. Armed Services, as well as those of numerous foreign nations. Delivery of the first J-4Fs to the United States Coast Guard began in July 1941. They were utilized many years for air and sea rescue, utility, and patrol missions, while in Navy and Coast Guard operations, the airplane flew utility, search and rescue, and anti-submarine missions. The museum's aircraft flew with the Coast Guard until 1948 and was later flown as a commercial airliner in Alaska. The credit for developing rotary wing operations in the U.S. Navy during World War II belongs to the United States Coast Guard, which evaluated the Navy's first helicopter, the HNS Hoverfly. Procured by the Navy in 1946, the HO-3S became the first helicopter employed in plane guard duty on board aircraft carriers, standing by to recover pilots forced to ditch during flight operations. The museum's example, an HO-3S-1G version of the aircraft, was accepted by the U.S. Coast Guard in February 1950. The P-5M was a pure seaplane. The Navy ordered the P-5M into production with changes to the prototype. The first version of this flying boat boasted a height of over 32 feet and a wingspan of some 118 feet entered service in 1952. Redesignated SP-5 after 1962, the Mariner served in the Vietnam War. The final flying boat operated by the Navy was the SP-5B Marlin. By the late 1960s, the Navy made the decision to retire flying boats, ending an era in naval aviation. This aircraft made the last flight by a Navy flying boat in July 1968. Originally turned over to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, the aircraft eventually transferred to the museum arriving by barge in 1977. The HH-52 on display served for 24 years, accumulating over 13,737 flight hours and more than 800 search and rescue missions that saved over 600 lives. When retired from service in 1987, it was one of the oldest helicopters flying in the Coast Guard. In November 1967, the U.S. Coast Guard procured the first of the HH-3F Pelican helicopters. During their service, HH-3Fs flew more than 54,000 search and rescue missions, saving more than 23,000 people. 
The aircraft on display, CGN 1486, was the last operational HH-3F and made its final flight from Coast Guard Air Station Clearwater, Florida to Naval Air Station Pensacola in 1994, completing 22 years of operational service. The aircraft on display is notable in its longevity and operational service, serving as the platform for one of the most acclaimed rescues in Coast Guard history. The Scan Eagle unmanned aircraft was donated as an artifact to the museum's U.S. Coast Guard exhibit in 2018 by Boeing owned in situ, the company that designs the autonomous aircraft vehicles. The Scan Eagle has been closely associated with the Coast Guard and was instrumental in drug interdiction along U.S. coastal waters for well over a decade. This highlights the Coast Guard's important role in naval aviation. There are countless stories of heroes and heroines responsible for shaping the history of our great nation, and the Naval Aviation Museum Foundation invites you to come see, touch, and experience the triumphs of the human spirit. For more information or to plan your trip, visit navalaviationmuseum.org.